Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are making regular size donuts. I know I have videos on the mini donuts, but I've been promising these regular sized donuts and this is just the first recipe. I have quite a few. The next one is going to be blueberry lemon donuts. So you have to turn on your notifications so you'll be notified when that recipe hits. Right now we're going to do strawberry cheesecake donuts. And as you saw, I have my 1 4th measuring cup and I'm using the strawberry cheesecake flavor. So I put 1 4th of strawberry cheesecake formula 1 into the bowl. And now I am grabbing the vanilla protein drink mix. And again, I am going to use my 1 4th measuring cup. You can literally buy these measuring cup things for a dollar at the Dollar Tree. So put one fourth of protein as well. So we have one fourth of the Formula One strawberry cheesecake, and then we have one fourth of the vanilla protein. And then we are going to grab almond flour. I just went on to, I think I got this from Winn Dixie. It was either Winn Dixie or Walmart. And I grab the almond flour, almond, yeah, almond flour. <laughs> and you're going to get your measuring cups again. And with the almond flour, you are going to need, drum roll please, a half a cup. So the first two is one fourth. And then the almond flour, you're going to use a half a cup. And you're just going to go ahead and add that right on in the bowl with your Herbalife products. And then I'm going to close that up nice and tight. And move on to our next ingredient. Again, we're doing strawberry cheesecake flavor. So good. I don't know if you guys follow me on Instagram, but I definitely showed the video of taste testing and oh my gosh, it was so good. So now you're going to grab the one fourth for your baking powder. Just like when you do the mini donuts, you do the one fourth of baking powder. You're going to do the same thing with these regular sized donuts. And I'm just going to say that. I love these regular sized donuts. I don't know if I'll ever go back to mini. So now I am getting vanilla extract and I am going to use my 1 4 teaspoon as well. Just like I did with the baking powder, that's how much I'm going to use for the vanilla extract. And I'm just going to add that in there with the rest of the ingredients. And then along with all of that, we are going to add in our eggs. So as you can see, I'm just cracking the egg and it's going to be the whole egg, not just the egg whites, but just go ahead and crack two eggs right on into the bowl. And this recipe here, actually, it makes um, six regular sized donuts. So if you want to make a dozen, just, you know, double the recipe. And then once you get all of that added in there, See, so look at me. I just always moving stuff around. You're going to get milk. Now, we only use almond milk in our house, so that's why you see me using almond milk. It does not have to be almond milk. Our family just prefers almond milk. So I'm going to use a half a cup of our almond milk. You can use whole milk, 2% milk, low-fat milk, oat milk, whatever milk you prefer. Go ahead and add that into your recipe. Like I said, we use almond milk because that's the only kind of milk we have in our house. And once you get all of those ingredients together, you're just going to stir it together just like when you're stirring um, waffle batter or muffin batter, pancake batter, all of the stuff that we make with these amazing products. You're just going to mix that. I don't like to use the automatic one um, only because you know, we have to make the batter a little thicker than regular things. So I don't like when it sticks all up in the little whisk and then you got to try to get all of the products off the whisk so that you don't waste products. So 
that is why I just fold it over with one of the um, rubber spoons that you always see me using, or rubber spatulas, I don't know what you call them, but that's what I use to mix my products until you get the consistency that you need. And then you're gonna get your pan. This pan I actually ordered off Amazon. Um, it's one of the silicone ones, the heat resistant. I actually love it because unlike the metal ones, you can't pop the donuts out with this pan. You can pop the donuts out. So I will actually link this donut pan in the description to this video. So if you want to order it off Amazon, the link will be right there for you. So um, this little scooper is just for like the mini cupcakes. It's nothing special. I like to use it because it makes it easier to measure things out. So instead of using like a big spoon and having to guess, I just use three scoops for each donut and it gives it the right amount so i just you do it three times as you can see so if you want to get one of these little mini scoopers you can order them online get them from walmart for like a dollar something or any place that has baking stuff you can find it so go ahead and do three of each and then i'm using my spatula just to even it out um around the silicone that way you know it's not a funky looking donut when it's done so now that I have them inside the donut pan, this is what it looks like. I just fill them halfway. I'm going to bake them at 350 for about 18 minutes. You'll be able to see it rising. And while that is going, I'm going to go ahead and make my icing. So since it is strawberry cheesecake, I am going to use my strawberry formula one. And I'm just going to put one scoop of that and then I'm going to grab my protein and I'm actually going to do two scoops of protein only because I want to, um, you know, like higher the protein intake. So I'm going to do two scoops of the protein. A lot of people don't even use the product at all for icing. They just use straight up jello mix and water or milk. I don't know, but this is how I'm going to do it for the donuts. And then I'm gonna grab my cheesecake mix. This is the sugar-free Jello cheesecake in the blue box at the stores. I'm gonna use a tablespoon of that. I'm just gonna add it right in there with the rest of the products. And then I'm gonna grab some water and pour that right in there. And just like everything else with the water, I don't have exact measurements. I know I'm horrible at that, but I just pour a little bit as I go until I get the consistency that I like. Some people like their icing extremely thick. Some people like their icing a little watery so that they could just dip the donut. But I kind of like it in between to where it's kind of thick, but kind of liquidy. That way it's, you know, just smear it on the donut however you want. But this is the type of consistency I like for the frosting or icing, whatever you want to call it. That is how I make it. So now that I have that, I'm going to go ahead and clean up my mess and put my frosting, icing, donut topping, whatever it's called, to the side so I can clean up and take out the donuts. Let the donuts cool a little bit before you try to pop them out of the tray. <laughs> because if you don't either you'll bust them open or you'll burn your hand I don't know something not great so make sure you let your donuts cool before you try to you know pop them on out so I just want to take a second to thank all of my subscribers and supporters y'all mean the world to me and I know there's other people coming up with videos now which is great so I really appreciate you guys sticking around and still watching my videos and supporting me. It just makes me want to make more stuff to share more things. So I appreciate you guys. Turn on the notifications so you can see the next recipes. And of course, share with your Herbalife family. If you're not a part of the Herbalife family yet and you're just kind of browsing around, let me know if you're interested. I can help you out. My link is in the bio. Go ahead and fill out the form. Let me know what you're looking for. And I can definitely help you along your journey. So this is me not letting it cool down like I just told you guys to do. 
<laughs> and then um, once I get the donuts out, I'm going to go ahead and show you how I ice them and top them for the strawberry cheesecake recipe. And also, I did use yum crumbs in this video. If you want to order your yum crumb, the link to the website is in my bio. And if you want 10% off, just go ahead and put my name and you'll get 10% off. So the discount code is my name, Melissa Gibbs. That is with one S and put no space. So it's M-E-L-I-S-A-G-I-B-B-S and you'll get 10% off. Now you guys, I love seeing y'all recreate my recipes. So if you do, tag me on Instagram at I am dot Melissa Gibbs. That way I can repost it and share it with everybody. And also because I just love to see how you guys recreate it. I think that's so amazing that the recipes that I'm coming up with is literally like getting out there. But this is the final product. I hope you guys like the recipe. Please let me know if you try it. Turn on notifications, like subscribe and share with your Herbalife family.